All right, uh, we have our next story selected for this time. Uh, we're going to be reading The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle. Um, it's not going to be as long as some of the other ones have been, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Now, this one doesn't have as many words as some of the other ones do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say one thing I like about each of the paintings. Uh, it's important when you make art that you look at the things you think you can do better, but that you also appreciate the things that you're doing well. Uh, because every artwork has its value and its merit, and every artwork has at least one thing that's going well for it. All right. I am an artist and I paint. A blue horse. Now in this one, I really like the streaks in the hair to kind of give it some definition. And a red crocodile. Now the cool thing about this one is if you look at those teeth, I really like how they have kind of the different colors on the teeth there. It makes them look really interesting. Plus all the waves to show the scaliness of the crocodile. And a yellow cow. Now, I really like that night sky. Don't you see how cool it is that it goes from the really dark to like a much brighter blue as we go up into the sky? That's really cool. And a pink rabbit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this rabbit is adorable. I absolutely love the little eye. And I think that, let's see, what else is pretty cool about this bunny? Oh, I'm sorry, rabbit. Oh, uh, look at all the crazy little swirls we got going on in the ears. That's really cool. And we have a green lion. Okay, first off, green lion, awesome choice. Uh, but if I have to comment on something on this lion, I'm going to say that mane looks amazing. Look at how bushy that mane looks. Isn't that really cool? All right. We got an orange elephant. Now, I know what you're all saying. You saw this coming. You knew next up was going to be the orange elephant. Well, let's say this orange elephant has got some really cool dots going with that little stubble effect. You guys see all the little black dots? That's what that is. Uh, I want to be friends with this orange elephant. And, oh, uh, we got a purple fox. Absolutely yes! Purple fox is awesome! Look at those eyes! And that super poofy tail. Purple fox. You get some solid approval from me, buddy. All right, and we got a black polar bear. Look at that, look at just the general, and look how they did rain. Oh, the general form is awesome. But if you look at like the rain too, I really like how they like drew it out and extended it out. That's really cool. All right, and we got a polka dotted donkey. Absolutely, look at how crazy all that color is. That's awesome, isn't that really cool? I like all like the different colors. This person is definitely a good artist. And each of you is a good artist too. You may not be the, like the next Picasso. Who knows? You may be the next Picasso. But each and every one of you is a good artist because no matter how good you may think your art is, your art is good just because you made it. And no one else can make art just like you do. Also, we've been joined by my cat apparently. This is Leo, and apparently he wants to crash in on the recording. So I want you all to say hello to Leo. And Leo, you want to say hello to them, buddy? No, he says he wants to sit here with me. Well, maybe we'll get him to say hello a little bit later. Do you guys have pets at home? If so, post your pets in the comments. Talk about your pets in the comments. Now, when we are all stuck at home, is a great time to bond with pets if you have them at home, like I'm doing right now with Leo. But thank you all for joining me for this book. Again, please leave comments if you have suggested books you'd like us to read. Uh, and also send us emails if you have questions about anything going on right now. Anyway, I'm really appreciative that you all joined me for this reading. Bye.